Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori, if you're new here, and today I'm gonna show you what I got for my prepper pantry. I went to my local Kroger, and I know I've said in videos past that I'm gonna stop going there and I'm gonna rely on some local produce, but I couldn't beat these deals and they will really help out my family right now. Uh, I am beating a tornado right now, believe it or not. It's just a land spout, so I'm not too afraid, but we have lost power. As you can see, it's flickering back on and off, so it's possible that I might get it back soon uh, but if it goes off in the middle of the video sorry about the lighting if you're new here hi hello my name is Tori I am a wife mother of three we have a week old right here and I like to show you how to be prepared on a budget so I'm gonna get you turned around and show you what I got and I want to show you what I plan to do with it I know I always talk about it but if you want to see when I do those things, let me know, i.e. canning or freezing or dehydrating. Uh, I don't freeze dry, but there's a lot of ways I preserve some of these sales that I get, and I really enjoy talking about it with all of you. So if you're new here, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And let me get you turned around to show you what I got. Okay, here's the small but mighty haul. I am very excited to announce that it has been confirmed. I'm getting the electric pressure canner that I wanted for my birthday. We were waiting for it to go on sale and it has gone on it has gone on sale. Uh it is rather small though, I will say. So it's I think it fits like five or six pints, uh something like that. But that's okay. It's better than nothing. And I haven't electric pressure canned in a long time, so we will see how it goes. I am a water bath canner through and through. I don't care if it takes three hours to get to that 240 degree temp. There's a lot that you can do. I go by my Amish cookbook and my Pennsylvania Grange cookbook. We've never gotten sick, knock on wood, but I know there are some uh, what they call pearl clutchers in the crowd, which means uh, they're very adamant about pressure canning and how much better it is for you. So I I understand that, but I'm excited. So I based a lot of what we got on that. So starting out, we got a five pound bag rest of potatoes on sale for $1.29. I don't know why it was in my app. So it was a digital coupon, uh, but I asked a friend and she didn't have it. So I don't know. I know some of you work for Kroger. Maybe you could tell me if that was specifically for me or what goes on there but they honored it because it actually didn't even ring up so i went ahead and looked on my account made sure everything was right i showed the manager and we were good so rest of potatoes we're gonna can some of those i know it's not a lot but you know a little at a time makes a big difference i love canned potatoes because you can just throw them in anything you can also do meal in a jar if you're new to canning which you could put ground beef some i don't know cheese sauce in there yes you can can dairy and you could put some of these in green beans and call yourself good uh, and then just heat it up in the winter and that's really what i'm going for this year just some ease of i don't know meals in the winter time sorry i got jumbled on my words there uh, a lot of people actually have commented recently on one of my videos it must have just like got suggested but uh seeing that it's oh, what did they call me i don't know they called me something negative saying that i'm not protecting my can preps because they're not on a, they could fall off the shelf in the event of an earthquake uh i you know, I haven't seen an earthquake in Colorado, but who who knows? That could happen. Yes, you're right. Maybe I'll put a lip on it, but thanks for looking out. Just do it in a positive way next time. Anyways, we got some canned items on sale for 79 cents. Again, I had that 50 cents off. So, of course, I got the classics. You're probably sick of seeing the no salt added cut green beans, but we eat so much of them. We have cannellini beans in there and garbanzo beans. I have these epic beef jerky bars i was shocked these are 9.99 for four bars that's insane to me they're grass-fed beef used sea salt and pepper 10 grams of protein these are phenomenal to have in a bug out situation but i would never pay 9.99 for them to be honest with you so these are on sale for four dollars still dollar a bar not too bad but when we get our venison this year i'm just gonna make my own jerky and go from there uh my dad did it growing up and it was just so much easier so if you make your own jerky drop your recipe i'd love to compare and contrast because mine is so good but i'm always up for making different ones over here we got a chomp stick just mainly because we wanted to try it it's no sugar added and it's 70 cents hold on buddy 
we got some weather that they're loving taking photos of. Uh, 70 cents. I don't know. We're just going to try it. I included it in the haul just because you could throw it in a bug out bag. Next up, wild sockeye salmon. My dad fishes for salmon, but I um, am not able to get that fish right now unless he sends it on some dry ice. I don't know. Has anyone had experience sending fish across the country? Let me know. But this is wild sockeye salmon. My dad fishes on Pulaski. I know native uh, New Yorkers call it Pulaski, I believe, but right uh, on Lake Ontario as well. And uh, there's just really a great variety of fish up there. So I would love to have some of his, but you know, we're trying this out. So I'm going to do the wild sockeye salmon. I'm going to can it. I know it's already hot smoked, but it's okay to do this. I learned this on Simple Alaska Adventures. I, I forget. They're amazing. I really love their channel. I'll link it down below. And they fish for fresh salmon, obviously, in Alaska. But I want to try it out, and it's in my Amish cookbook. So I'm going to put this in some sort of glass vessel, and we're going to pressure can it. So we'll see how that goes. I'm sure it will just be fine. Uh, I definitely think it will get a little tougher, but you can't beat this price. $2.85. Normally, it's $6.99, sometimes $7.99. So I grabbed four of those, and there was still plenty left, so I didn't hoard all of it. And then we just got some canned protein. I got some chicken breasts. I would have gotten two of the Wild Planet, which was on sale two for four, but they didn't have any left. So I just got another premium chicken breast chunk in water. This was $2.09. So that's kind of a bummer because this is so much better for you, uh, but that's okay. And then I just got some chunk late tuna because I wanted to round it out at a good price. So we spent a little more than we wanted to for the prepper pantry, but I feel like because of the quality of what we got, it's okay. So this is what we got this week. Again, I'm going to start sharing these hauls a little more often. It seems to be what does the best on the channel, what people like to see. So let me know. And then here is a sneak peek. We are going to can some pineapple. We're going to start it out super easy for you that have never canned, but canning pineapple is so easy. And I wanted to show you how I water bath can it because really it's, I mean, it's delicious. So when you can find it on sale, it's awesome to grab. If you can grab a bunch of them, go ahead and do that. But I will show you that in an upcoming video. And I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to share. So I know this was on the shorter side, but I did want to share with you all of these preps that I got on the cheap. I'm excited. You know, I love a good bargain. Let me know if you don't have Kroger, where do you go? I know that Walmart has a bunch of clearance. I, I feel like there's a lot of clearance stores out there you don't have to have like this bargain bin store you can just find these clearance items at your local grocery store so i'm excited to just keep this going and keep our preps small but mighty so things that pack a punch things that have a ton of protein things that are organic and good for you but garden season is upon us so i can't wait to show you those harvests and show you how we preserve things that we grow on our own Alrighty, friends, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope this inspired you to shop your sales, see what's out there, and see what kind of foods that you can get on sale so you can just start preserving and prepping all of those items because, wow, you can save a ton if you go in the store and get some clearance items. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, y'all. Stop asking why I'm struggling